Today, Garmin is releasing an update to the Varia Radar. This is the fourth iteration of the Varia Radar product, and this time, it has a built-in camera. Okay, I've been using the all new Varia radar with the built-in camera for a little over a week and a half now, and it is a really cool device. But there are a few things that I wish were different. So in this video, we'll go over everything that you need to know about the Varia radar, what I love about this device, as well as you know a few things that I find annoying. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that the Varia Radar is you know one of the few products that I wish that you know every single cyclist could have on their bikes. The radar detects oncoming traffic behind you and it displays it on your head unit, uh, so you know like if a car is passing or how many cars are still coming up behind you. And the radar can even detect when a car is passing at high speeds. You know, in all honesty, you know, if I could buy each and every one of you guys one of these Varia radars, I would. Uh, when you're out playing in traffic, you know, I really do believe that these radars are super helpful. Now this new camera edition of the Varia radar actually makes it the third item in this kind of Varia radar Garmin product lineup. Uh, so now you can choose between the RVR315 for 150 that doesn't have a tail light, the RTL515 for $200 that does have a tail light, and this one, which is technically called the RCT715 for $400. So this new RCT715 is kind of three things. It's a tail light, it's a radar, and it's a camera. Now as a tail light, it has four modes. Uh, it's 20 lumens bright when it's in its solid always on mode, or eight lumens when it's in peloton mode, and that's the mode that's kind of suggested for use when you're riding with a group of cyclists, uh, but it does flash brighter as vehicles approach and pass. Uh, or it's 29 lumens when it's in night flash mode, and 65 lumens when it's in day flash mode. And as a radar, this device can detect vehicles approaching from behind up to 153 yards away or 140 meters. Uh, if you're not familiar with these radars, it's kind of looking at any object approaching the radar. Uh, so it could be a car or a motorcycle, or technically it could even be another cyclist if they're moving significantly faster than you are from behind. Uh, and the reason that it works so well, you know, when you're in a cycling group and doesn't, you know, detect all of these cyclists constantly, is that it's only looking for objects that are moving faster than the device is moving towards the device. And for the most part, uh, groups of cyclists are really moving at about the same speed. Now, what's new and unique about this product is that it has a built-in camera. Uh, as a camera, you're looking at 1080p video at 30 frames per second. It does have a very nice wide angle camera. Um, I would say probably in that kind of 16 millimeter equivalent range, uh, probably about F16 aperture. So a uh, very wide with a very small aperture. You know, I wouldn't expect this camera to do super well in low light or anything like that. Uh, but overall, the footage looks pretty good to my eye. Eyes, uh, you'll probably notice some fisheye distortion, uh, but that's kind of to be expected on these really wide angle cameras. It comes with 16 gigs of storage, uh, but it's a micro SD card, so you can adjust that to a larger card for pretty cheap. Uh, I just saw one on sale on Amazon, 256 gigs for 30 bucks. Uh, I will leave links to where you can buy the radar or little things like the micro SD card as well as any other deals that I can find below in the description of this video. But even if you do have a smaller SD card, the camera can continuously record. Uh, it'll record clips in small minute and 30 second clips, and then it'll overwrite older content 
as the card becomes full. And that minute 30 is adjustable, so if you want longer clips, you can actually set that up to five minutes long. The device also has incident detection, so if you're hit by a car or something bad happens, uh, that one minute and 30 second clip is gonna be moved to a locked location that does not get overwritten. So in this case, uh, I'm just kind of holding the camera and dropping it in the grass as a car comes by just to kind of test this incident detection. And it seems to work really well from what I can tell. Uh, don't worry guys, you know, for once on this channel, uh, I did not hurt myself in the filming of this video. But when it does detect an incident, uh, the Varia Radar app uh, in this device itself will give this kind of little like alarm sound. Um, and that video clip is flagged. There it goes, little alarm sound there. Uh, but that video clip is flagged and it's saved in a slightly different folder. Now this new Varia Radar also comes with a slightly different attachment mount. Uh, to my eyes, it seems to be a little bit more secure, kind of locks in there a little bit better. My guess is that just the added weight of this radar and the camera, it just needed something a bit beefier back there. And then as far as like device hardware goes, it's really just two buttons, a larger power button that you can also use to toggle between light modes. Uh, and a second smaller button that starts and stops recording. Now the battery life depends largely on what mode the taillight is set to. And also if you're using the camera in 1080p or 720p, uh, you can expect about four hours of battery life with the radar and the taillight on solid high or night flash and you know, up to about six hours with the radar and taillight on day flash. That's with the camera set to 1080p. You'll get a little bit more battery life if you're willing to kind of drop down that recording resolution. Uh, but I do think that you'll probably want the higher resolution. It seems that footage like this might be used to, you know, like determine license plates or something crazy like that. Uh, and you're probably gonna want 1080p to do that. Now I've always wanted more battery life out of my Varia radar. And it definitely feels like a device that you're gonna have to charge up every single ride. And a lot of you know, us cyclists will do rides that are more than four hours. So you know that might be a bit of a balancing act for some of us. Uh, they are advertising kind of like four to 10 hours, kind of depending on which modes you set it up with. Uh, next, uh, I really do want more people riding around with radars just for like safety reasons. And I really wish this thing didn't cost $400. Uh, I'm worried that this is gonna deter people from picking up a really useful product like this. Uh, and then another little nitpicky issue. Um, you know, I don't love the way that you access the micro SD card. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more accessible. You basically have this kind of almost like battery replacement door cover here that you have to open. Maybe I'm weird, but you know, I like to plug in cards when I'm offloading footage. You know, I find, you know, using the Varia app to offload footage a bit annoying. And I definitely think that that's the way that Garmin wants me to do it based on, you know, the design here. Uh, but, you know, the Varia app, you'll connect to the radar via Wi-Fi, and then you have access to all those clips and you can download them to your smartphone. But my last dislike about this device is just the size of this Varia radar. I would say, you know, she's clearly not missing any meals here. Um, she's, <laughs> she's a thick one. The Varia radar is 106 millimeters tall, 42 millimeters wide, and 30 millimeters thick. For reference, the old radar is 98 millimeters tall, 39 millimeters wide, and only 19 millimeters thick. And to me, you know, they, they look similar. It, it kind of looks to me like the old one only shops in like the produce section of your, you know, local supermarket while this guy, definitely shops at Piggly Wiggly and, you know, isn't even aware that there is such thing as a produce section. Uh, and I hear you. I mean, I can, I can relate. COVID, COVID's been tough, but weight wise, it's 147 grams for this new camera and radar. So that's a little bit more than double the weight of the old one that was 71 grams. Now this last one is more of like a feature request instead of a dislike but I would love to be able to see some sort of basic rear view, you know, low frame rate version of video on like a Garmin head unit. And I get that that's asking a lot, but 
Uh, I think it might come in handy or at least be interesting to kind of like glance back without looking back uh, at, you know, maybe your cycling buddies if they're about to sprint for a stop sign or something crazy like that. Now, I know that some of you guys are watching this and you're saying like, why would I ever need a radar? You know, I already have bike lights. I have a mirror. And I think that's awesome. You know, I suggest having, you know, all the safety things when you're out there dancing your bike around between cars. But, you know, I have a mirror on my bike also. It, it's cool, it's called Corky from the Beam, but I still really much prefer having a radar on my bike just for, you know, additional awareness. So, you know, mirrors, lights, uh, Varia radar, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm all for, you know, all the safety things. Uh, and maybe I'm overdoing it. Definitely let me know in the comment section what you guys add to your own bikes for safety. And, you know, I do think that it's hard to describe just how helpful the Varia radar is. But, you know, even if you're not willing to spring for this $400 version with built-in camera, I would still highly recommend that you guys consider, you know, some sort of radar product like this. Either way, be sure to get out there, swim, bike, run, rinse, and then repeat it all over again. And we will see you guys in the next one.